my kite too high or you're on that? All right. It's a beautiful windy day. You've got your goggle eyes and your thread fins. Got your kite set up. And now we're fishing. We got a nice spread out. We've got a couple on the left, a couple on the right. Spent a lot of money on the bait, time, energy, just everything it takes to get a day of fishing in, and we're flying a kite. We're just having a great time. We catch a sailfish. What do we do now? Do we wind everything in it? It took 20 minutes to put out? No. The beauty of the, 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 beauty of the BFC is that they have 650, 700 yards of line. That fish isn't going anywhere. He's going to scream out some line, but he's going to stop. So what we're going to do, as a crew, we're going to clear. Whatever bait gets eaten, we're going to make sure that that sailfish jumps and dances around the baits that are still out. So you're going to wind up the left if he eats on the right. If he's coming underneath, wind it up. Just let your bait dangle for a second. Let that sailfish swim under it. As soon as he swims under it, drop your bait down. And just keep doing that until the sailfish has cleared your kites. So now you're still fishing with three, and you have all the line in the world. You can start easing your way towards the hooked fish, but don't wind everything in because you're, you're, the bites come after the first one. It's, it, you've got the patience to wait five more minutes. You're not, he's not going to get away. You, you've got sharp hooks. They're circle hooks. You've got good leader. It's fluorocarbon. Your fish is going to stay hooked up. Now it's time to hook more. Keep your kites out. Keep them untangled. And then just slowly maneuver the boat towards the direction the hooked fish is going and have the rest of your guys that aren't hooked up pay attention because that's when the double headers come in, the triple headers come in. But they'll never have a double or triple if you hook one, wind everything in, and chase them down. Exercise some patience, trust your tackle, trust the process, and you're going to go from catching one a day to many a day. Trust me. In the event that things do go south with the kites. What, go, what is that? Well, maybe you got one on, you make a little move in the wind, and you get the main line for the kite wrapped around an antenna. Basically, what you're going to want to do is, at this point, you're going to have to wind some baits in. But don't, don't go crazy. Wind them up, pop them out of the pins, set those baits back in the live well, because they cost good money to get, and they can still be used. Get the sailfish released. And then just have the captain say, listen, man, you got to do three, you got to do a 360 counterclockwise two times, and I think we'll be good. If the kite's going to stay up in the air, even though it's tangled, but it doesn't mean you have to break anything off in a hurry to get it. Finish what you're doing, clear your bait so that they don't get tangled in the motors, get your kite untangled, finish catching your fish, and then start all over again. It's all about communication. Every now and then, kites get messed up. They get caught in towers. They get caught in your, they get caught in your antennas. It's not a big deal. Don't sweat it. But just think about it. Take your time, and you'll get untangled and get back to fishing. It's winter in South Florida. You're driving by a marina, and you're seeing all the charter boats come in with white flags flying. The sailfish bite is on. And now it's your turn to get out there and do it yourself. You've got the boat. You've got the tackle, you've got your kites, you've got your kite baits, you've got your family on board, mom, dad, the wife, kids, and we're all just going to have a good time. We're not tournament fishing, we're just going to race up, pop that leader, get a, get a, verify it on a camera, and get back to fishing. You want to kind of brag a little. Well, in Florida, you can't bring a sailfish into the boat for any reason. So you want to fight this fish with a nice 20-pound tackle. It's not going to uh, wear them out. Generally, it'll be a five to 20 minute fight, even for a novice. When you get them alongside, you wanna make sure you have a quality set of gloves, make sure everybody's cell phones are on camera, and you're gonna get alongside and just slowly pull them alongside, keep the boat in gear, keep the boat in gear, and then just grab them gently by the bill, close to, close to the eyes as possible. If you can, get that hook out, and then hold them out to the side, have your angler come right alongside with you, and then get the cameras all around and just hold them right at the water's edge. You don't want to lift them out of the water. That's where the, the science says that's where the most damage is done. 
We can catch them and let them go all day long with circle hooks, and the science says it's fine. And the, we're having record numbers of stillfish catches. It's because we're doing the right thing. And the right thing is get them alongside, get some great pictures. Don't drag them over the gunnel and uh, wipe off his protective slime. Just get him alongside, get your high five in the air, and then hold him until he starts kicking, and then gently let him go, and you'll swim away to fight him again. And with East Current, the sailfish might not be on the surface, but they are still swimming by. Just that's in my blood. He's swimming towards us, but the current's taking him to Duck Keys. Look at him go. Oh, can him walk in? Relax, baby. I didn't get my mutton yet. Better mark the spot, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> Getting angry. Oh, yeah. Good guy? We're good, yeah. You always want to catch everything you hook. Uh, you don't want to lose it to a, something as simple as uh, another fisherman's line or anchor line. Uh, the line's taut with, a, with the right amount of drag. Another fishing line just rubbing against it can cut the line. It's organized chaos. We already know what to do. We just need to know how to do it. So Steve finishes cleaning the pit disconnects the boat, gets in started, and then which way do we got to go? Working together, fishing together a lot. It was a chaotic situation, but we had the chaos under control. We'll get this fish and get right back to business. Don't fill the boots. You on braid yet? I'm back on the braid, but my fish is right next to that anchored boat. Dinner to show, Steve. There he goes. Back on top, a little angry. Coming to you. It's coming right to us. There, change the sucker. <laughs> when he gets up, he gets going. Coming out of full speed. There he goes. Crazy Ivan. He's going by that boat again right now, port side. About 50 feet. Nice, 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 Scotty Walker. Coming in the boat. <laughs> Leaders on. Coming in the boat. <laughs> That's how you finish them up there, Stevie. Leader on the tip, air now. Ah, I got him to go the right way. <laughs> Down the feet. Cut the wind hill a little bit. That's quite the little uh, action scene there. Good job. Cut your gloves. I'll bring them to you. Bumper ahead, Steve, I'll bring him to you. I'll bump it ahead. I'll bring it right to you. Hold on. There we go. Nice work. Got me off that ball so clean. Still got a little left. <laughs> you got them scissors right there? Yes, I do. You just put it in reverse and I'll track, right, drag it along. Just like that. One inch in reverse right now. Yeah, just straighten it out. Beautiful fish, Scott. All right, now we need to catch a couple more mutton snappers, buddy. Yeah, man. <laughs> awesome fish. I love the spring. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Right. I'm gonna straighten my line out while you get back to the anchor ball. All right. You bought all your kite tackle. You've flown your kites and you had great success. Day's not over yet. When you get back to the dock, these kites need to be rinsed with fresh water. All day long, they're getting salt. Whether you feel it or not, they're getting salts building into the material. Leave them stretched out, give them a fresh water rinse, set them, set them in the garage, set them in your engine room every time, set them down below. Just let them air dry out. You've had a great day sail fishing. Your kites are put away. They've rinsed. They're drying. You're going to take a few extra minutes and take your leftover bait carefully and put it into a cage beside your boat so that when you're ready to go sail fishing next time, it's ready to go as, as, as you are. Everything we've done here today is available at your local West Marine. Be sure to check them out. Ask them for anything you need that you can't find. They'll make an attempt to make sure they have it for you. If they don't have it, they'll find it. Okay, everybody. 
That was Kite Fishing 101. If you like what you saw here today, follow Wes Marine on Facebook and Instagram for live Q&A with me, and I'll see you on the water.